guys, what's up? I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We're here in West Hollywood for the premiere of Surviving Compton. Where are you from? Um, you know, around town. Around town. Where are you from? I am from originally yeah. Kentucky. Oh. Yeah, Paducah. I've never been. <laughs> well, you should go. Okay, fine. Have you been? Are you in LA now? I assume. Yeah? Yes, I do. Right. How do you like LA? I love. Oh, I mean LA. I love it. I love the yeah. weather. I've been coming here since I was like eight. But where in LA do you live? Not your address. Where, like, what part of LA do you live? Yeah, I would never give you my address. That's just crazy. Um, I live, like, you know, like where in the area? Kind of a West Hollywood, Hollywood area. Okay, it's a good area. Yeah, it's a pretty good area. I love it. Let's talk about the yeah. film. Let's talk. Okay, so this is, I mean, did you have any, like, apprehensions about this, playing this character? It's, it's more controversial than, you know, this character has been played in previous films, we'll say. Okay. No, uh, not at all, no. I, when you read the script, you're like, shit, like, you know, were you afraid? Like, oh, what Dre, if... Dre is somebody that I looked up to. Dre is somebody that I inspired growing up. And for me to play the character, I was honored to actually portray someone that I had been looking up to my entire life. So... The, the, I mean, the subject matter in the movie is very sensitive and could be controversial because, you know, there isn't a 100% what exactly happened. There's a he said, he said, she said thing going on. So, I mean, how did you approach that, like, respectfully, I guess? Well, I mean, I'm an actor, so I took the script and what it was, and I wanted to bring a life with Misha Lay's story because this is her story, essentially. Exactly. You know, and it's different than, like you said, straight out of Compton, you're bringing up that film. And this is the whole new story. It's from her side. It's from her point of view. And, you know, I just wanted to bring back, bring out of Dre, which she, from her point of view, and this is what it is. Well, how was the experience for you? Like, did you did you oh, end up learning a lot? Like, things you didn't know? This was amazing. The director, the everybody was just amazing that was part of the cast. So I was really, I really had a, a fun time. Even though it's such a dark character, I had, a, I had an incredible time, new bonds that I made, so... I have nothing but good things to say. Any any kind of, uh, you know, I was asking uh, the other actors, like playing somebody who's actually still alive right now, and, and yeah. any any weirdness with that? Or do you, weirdness? Yeah. Not at all. Like you want to portray them accurately. Oh, for sure. That, I mean, as an actor, an art, it's, it's an art, it's a form of art. So you want to, you want to be as proficient and, and as great as you can, you know, with, with anything that you do. It's like, so it's the same thing. So I know I'm playing somebody else, but I want to bring out what I feel and what I've, you know, the research that I've done and studied about that person as real as I can, because I only can do as best as I can do, so that's it. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing the movie. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. So nice, nice to meet you. Man. Nice meeting you as well. So Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like to like this video, subscribe for more interviews, and be sure to catch Surviving Compton on Lifetime Network October 15th.